Frames in InDesign are the building blocks for your layouts. They can contain images, text, and design elements like a shape with a fill color like you see here. In this video you'll explore the different types of frames available in InDesign and the tools used to create them. You can open this practice file for this tutorial if you want to follow along. And so that you can see the entire page, choose View, Fit Page and Window. If you want to add text to your design or you'd like to import an image, you'll either need to create a frame to hold that content or let InDesign create the frame for you as you import or place text or images. To start, you'll explore creating a few different types of frames and you'll create them in the gray area off the left side of the page. If you can't see the gray area to the left of the page, choose View, zoom out as many times as necessary till you do. To add text, you can create text frames by selecting the Type tool in the Tools panel on the left. Then press and drag to create an area where the text will go. After drawing a text frame, a cursor will appear in the frame so you can add text. Now the frame tools found here in the Tools panel are used to create placeholder frames, usually for graphics like a picture or a logo. If you press and hold down on the Rectangle Frame tool, you'll see three frame shape tools you can draw with. Frames drawn with any of these tools will have an X in the middle, usually to indicate that a graphic will go there. The shape tools below the frame tools in the tools panel are used to create shapes that can be used as graphic elements, like a shape filled with a color. They're called unassigned frames since they don't contain text or graphics, but you can add text or a graphic to them later. You can draw empty placeholder shapes using these drawing tools and later insert content into these frames. Also know that you can always change your mind when it comes to the content of frames, like adding an image to a text frame instead of text, for instance. To ensure that you can see the whole page, choose View, Fit Page and Window. Select the Selection tool in the Tools panel on the left, and then click to select this color box. All frames have eight handles around the edge of the frame. These are used to control the size, rotate it, and more. Move the pointer over the bottom, middle handle of this frame, and then drag it up to make it a little bit shorter. All frames you select also have these color boxes. This one is used to anchor the frame to other frames, and this one is used to change the corner radius, in other words, round the corners. Click to select this paragraph of text over here to select its frame. You can tell a frame is meant to hold text because besides the eight handles, there are additional small boxes in the upper left and lower right corners. The box in the upper left corner is called the in port, and the box in the lower right corner is called the out port. They're used to connect frames together so that you can flow text from one frame to another. Click the image in the background to select it. Graphics are placed in frames and can be cropped or masked by the frame, resized, and a whole lot more. To deselect the image, choose Edit, Deselect All. Understanding what frames are and how to work with them is a big first step towards adding content to your InDesign documents. As you make your way through these tutorials, you'll add content like text and graphics and be more comfortable with both creating and editing frames.